and today I want to talk about farmhouse baskets. So I know that in a lot of people's minds, baskets are really outdated and are something of the past, but in farmhouse decor, there are many, many uses for baskets. And so since I am a huge farmhouse decor lover, I'm gonna share with you today some of the ways that I've utilized my baskets. Um, I have quite a large selection. Um, I have some baskets that I have multiple um, of the same, and then I have some baskets that are totally original, they don't match anything else. But um, I'm gonna go with you over with you a few things, uh, a few different styles on how I use my baskets. So for starters, obviously the wicker basket with fruit. You cannot go wrong with displaying fruit in a lovely wicker basket. If you're into farmhouse decor, um, any sort of fruit looks great in a basket like this. This is very natural wicker, and so you can't go wrong by just tossing in some apples, some pears, um, just different types of fruit, and setting it out on the, the table. It looks beautiful. It goes very well with whiteware, and it's, it's a staple. So um, I use this right now um, to house some of my green apples that is uh, a part of my fall decor. And then I also have this small basket. I actually have several of these. Um, I picked up, I think, four of them. Um, they're vintage strawberry baskets, and I painted them a pretty neutral, shabby chic farmhouse color. Um, it's like a taupe. And so what I did, have done, um, I have some that have pumpkins displayed in them, but I also have in my kitchen some of these really lovely little dish cloths. And so in here I have some white and tan striped and then some basic tan. This sits out on my counter and basically it's really more for decor, but they're also for use as well. So this is a really great practical way to display something um, that you're going to use. And this is a really cute basket. So I like having it sitting out um, and it matches my farmhouse decor really well. You can display it on its side, you can stand it up, you can lay it down. It's, no matter how you display it, it still looks really, really cute. The other thing is, and this is one of my favorites, so this basket um, houses all of my uh, dish cloths. And so I have this out, and so anytime that I need to pull out um, a dish cloth, um, I can do that. These are my hand towels, um, and then I've got my basic white uh, dish cloths in here. And so these are right out on the counter. I'm able to grab them and pull one out. I need it right away. And then I just launder them, put them back in this basket, matches my farmhouse look. I've added a little black and white gingham ribbon to it. Um, I have, I believe, probably five or six of these baskets. I love them. So they're really spacious, they're really deep, and I love the handle on them. The other way that I've used my baskets, this is actually a Harry and David's vintage basket. So if you know anything about baskets, um, if you still don't think that they're outdated and you know, kind of keep up on baskets, a Harry and David basket, they're relatively expensive and this is vintage. And so what I've done this year is I have displayed, you probably can't really see it too well, but I'll try to show you there. I've displayed my, um, these are chenille cream colored um, napkins and they have these beautiful gold leaf napkin rings on them. And these sit out on our side table in the dining room. And so, um, when I entertain, they're going to be right there. I don't have them displayed out on the table, but it's a really great way to use this really pretty um, vintage style basket. And it's a lovely color. It's very farmhouse chic, and I love it. It's another one of my absolute favorites. So that's another way that you can utilize a basket is to put your uh, tableware, your napkins, um, anything that you might use in your dining area can go in there as well. This was something that I did that was really cute. So this is what's considered um, an egg basket. And I just recently had some guests over and uh, we sort of ring in the fall season and we had some apple cider and good conversation and it was really, really nice. And so when they left, 
um, each one of them took one of these little bags of autumn mix that I made for them. Um, with these little chalk labels, I just put them in little Ziploc baggies and they were out in this little basket. And this autumn mix smells so good. It's got little um, pumpkin pods in it and all kinds of little goodies. And then they're scented. So um, the scent is crisp fall leaves and it's a nice little scented oil that I put in there. But this was such a cute little practical way to display the uh, bags in this basket so that when um, you know my guests left, they were right there, they could grab them and head out the door. And then lastly, I have this um, wire basket. And this is part of my dining room display this year. And I love this because this basket, um, I can house both of these really large pillar candles in there. And so when I have it out on the dining table and I have them lit, there's two candles here. It creates a lot of lighting and it's just a really cute, unique way to use this uh, like wire rustic farmhouse basket. So for all of my farmhouse loving friends out there, if you're still into baskets, this is just a little bit of uh, how I use mine and um, don't steer away from them because baskets are absolutely handy. They're absolutely wonder wonderful. They've been around for centuries and um, as far as I'm concerned, display them, use them. I use mine. I absolutely love them. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can leave your comments below. Please visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love. Thank you.